Arcane Waters 2022 High Saviors GH here. Today we're gonna do an Arcane Waters gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. And I'm also gonna show you guys the monetization and some features in the game. Arcane Waters is a pixel art pirate themed MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay guys, here's the character creation. And okay, so how do we change our gender here? We can change the gender or I just couldn't see it. I don't know how to change the gender. Okay, anyway, here's the character customization. We can pick from about 12 hairstyles over here. Let's pick this one. It's kind of fun. And let's make the hair red. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, there's two colors. It's happening here. Let's pick the white hair. And here's the skin color. What else can we change here? Okay, eyes. What? There's three eyes to choose from and five colors. Let's pick the gray one and then clothing. There it goes. There's three clothing and five colors to choose from. Oh uh, yeah, this one is for the pants. What else can we do here? This one is for the perks. Here's the different perks, guys. We got healing, melee damage, range damage, bartering, ship damage, ship health, ship defender, mining drops, farming, better treasures and ship speed by the way guys there's ship combat in this game i already saw the trailer and we can battle enemies using our ship it's action combat okay so how about let's pick healing melee damage and what else we should only pick one melee or range okay we're picking melee what else we have one more available points ship damage is this okay let's name our character confirm okay the loading takes a while and we're in the game guys how can we move it's not pointing click. I'm clicking on the ground and nothing's happening. Oh, look at this. I think this is melee attack. The right mouse button is melee attack. And to move, it's WSD, guys. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an exclamation mark over here. I guess that's our request. And what is this? Step one of three. Ahoy, matey. Welcome to Arcane Waters. Me name be Blackjack. Okay. <laughs> Forward. I don't want to read that. You can pick a subject by expanding. Okay. Let's expand it. Arcane Waters. Shortcuts. He's talking about shortcuts. And he wants me to equip a weapon. This number four over here. How about... Let's open up the bag. There might be some kind of a beginner support box over here. No, we got some carrot seeds. What? Hey, wait a minute. Okay. We got some seeds. A watering pot. Man, this kind of feels like Harvest Moon. Stardew Valley-ish. Okay. Anyway, fish pork. Okay. Here's the wooden sword. Equip it. And we equip the sword. Now... Use WASD or the arrow keys to move yourself around. Okay, what else? Is that it? Power from prosperity. They say there be a wishing well in this awful place. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk like a pirate. I don't sound like a pirate. Okay. Uh, What am I supposed to do forward? Do you feel the power? Let's take another crack at one of these skellies. They're in trouble now. What? Right? There's no skeleton here. Okay, well, uh, I just noticed, guys, I think these other people over here are players. These are not NPCs. At first, I thought there were NPCs, but I think there are other players. They kind of look like me. Yep. Yeah, look at this. This one is moving. Yeah, she's definitely a player. Here's another one. This one is Captain Jack. Okay, so what do we need to do? Gearing up. You need a better blade. I hear them skeletons in the cemetery. Esport Haven are hiding something nice. Okay, hiding something nice. Uh, ooh, no, 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 no. Put this down. I think the game wants us to go east over here. There it goes. There's a tutorial mark. Let's follow it. And okay, we're at the cemetery. This is the cemetery, right? Oh, yeah. There are tombstones over here. Can we interact with the tombstone? Here eyes. Eramus Cobb. Okay. There goes enemies. We can melee combat them, right? Okay, let's go. Melee attack. Ooh. What the floppy bird? Uh, I think this is turn-based, guys. Ooh, I'm getting attacked. How do I attack here? Okay. They got to be guarding something over there, okay? No weapon. But this will do. To craft your new sword, you need three skeleton parts. What? Okay. Uh, this? this? Is this how we attack? I'm pressing this, guys. It's one. This one is two. This one is three, okay? What is this? Man, this tutorial is too fast. <laughs> or I'm too fast. <laughs> okay. So the land combat is turn-based, guys. I thought we are going to be able to slash because... When we're at the map... We can swing our sword. Kind of like in Legend of Zelda. But when I approach the monster, it turned to turn base. Hey, loot, loot. 
Okay, we got the skeleton parts. We need three pieces of the skeleton parts. Hey, look at this. I can swing my sword. <laughs> I was assuming I can attack skeletons with that. Okay, anyway. Ooh, turn based. Let's finish this. Attack. Crit. Finish him off. 43 damage, normal attack. Oh, still alive. Okay, the starting combat. I can feel it drags on. This should be fast. Enemies get a lot of HP. It doesn't pose any challenge anyway, so they could have just lowered the HP of these monsters. So we can progress a bit faster. They should just challenge us later on in the game. Block. And we're done with this. We get silver. I'm assuming this is silver. Yes, it's... Yes, it's silver. Loot. What do we get? Skeleton parts. Okay, here's another skeleton over here. Uh, attack the skeleton, bro. I'm pressing three. What's happening? They're gonna defeat me. My H. Oh no, I thought this was my HP. The green bar is my HP. Okay, finish them off. Lacking the music. Feels like a JRPG. <laughs> I can really feel that this game would be nice on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, free to play MMO on the Nintendo Switch. It's gonna be awesome. But I checked the profile of this game. It's only on Steam at the moment. They're currently play testing this, by the way. This is just some kind of a beta test. Oh, what's that? Loot, loot. I think we got the skeleton ports. What do we need to do? We need to go back to the town, but I kind of see a treasure box over here. Should we go? How many more enemies? Okay, so technically we need to only fight this guy and this guy. Let's go. We're gonna get that treasure box. Finish them off. Block. What? You're healing? We can block. Are we getting any EXP here? I'm not really seeing any EXP. I only see silver. Yeah, we're not leveling up. There's a wishing well over here. Let's interact with it. Ooh, what is this? Arcane power, 20%. Okay, how about this other one? Take 20% less damage in land combat. No, I want the arcane power. I can buy them both. Should we buy them both? Yup. Ah, uh, yeah. We can't buy them anymore. And that's nice. It's not the progression of the game because we're not leveling up. We don't have any level. Do we have any level? I don't know, guys. I can't see any character profile. How about this? Press C. No, there's nothing. Okay, let's finish up this skeleton boss over here. I'm really liking the graphics. It reminds me of Legend of Zelda. Let's go! Slash him! Oh, you're alone, huh? I'm gonna finish you. And you're dead. What? You got one shotted. <laughs> nice. I think it's because of the upgrades. Loot. Do you have any item? Oh, you got iron ore. Treasure box over here. What is that? Bone sword design. What? Bone sword design. Let me check our bag. Oh no, that's a bit, a bit. Here goes the bag. I think it's a blueprint, guys. I can't use it. Let's go. Let's go back to town. Okay, guys. We're back at Port Haven. And what do we need to do? Head up on the old weapon shop. Uh, where? Northwest Park. Okay, there goes the tutorial arrow is guiding us over here. We need to go over here. Let go. I mean, why is there loading? Anyway, what do we need to do? Click on an anvil. Okay, here goes the anvil, guys. Click on it. Okay, there it goes. Even the menus got loading. Okay, so. Ah, the bone sword is really a blueprint. We need it to craft. Okay, let's go craft bone sword. Now, according to her, we need to equip it. Hey, wait a minute. Equip the bone sword. I didn't get consumed. This bone sword design. Okay, now we got a bone sword. We should be stronger. Let's head outside. Ain't scared of the water, are ye? Okay, oh, here goes the ship combat, guys. According to the tutorial, we need to go back at the cemetery. Hey, wait a minute. I don't understand this. He's asking me to find the spider? Spider web? Okay. Kinda like this. Okay, anyway. Uh, north side of the graveyard. North side. Okay, I guess this is it. We get to skip all of the battles if we go here, I guess so. Uh, jump? Oh, there it goes. What? Oh, I thought we're gonna drown. Noise. 
Okay, there's a vine over here. We can climb, then jump again. And we're here. Nice. And there goes the ship tutorial, guys. Tutorial Bay. Look lively, mate. Pirates. Okay, there are pirates. Here goes the pirates, guys. Uh, what do we do? First, let's sail your ship around. WASD. Okay, to move the ship, guys, it's WASD. Now left shift and it's charging. And when we release it, it dashes. Steal yourself. Time to clear some scum of the water. Tab. What? Pick a pirate ship by clicking on it or press tab to auto target. Okay, we're gonna try tab targeting, guys. According to the tutorial, we can use tab to target an e to highlight an enemy. There it goes. We highlighted an enemy with a tab. Hey, wait a minute. I thought it's action combat. Now, try out your cannons. Hold and release space or right mouse button to fire. Okay. Space. Oh! So the ship combat can also be tab targeting. Let's look at this. We highlighted an enemy. And then when we press space, it's auto-targeting the enemy. Boom, but it's not that accurate. And according to the tutorial, we can also use the right mouse button. Look at this. So basically, we can adjust the attack so it can hit like that. Nice. Oh, I missed. Ah, man. So it takes a bit of skill to attack. This is nice. If you use tab targeting, you're gonna suck. <laughs> Destroy these pirates. Bruh. I'm gonna predict your movement. Oh man, I missed. Ah, man, you really gotta prep your attack. Okay, are we done? You send them straight to the briny deep. Now she's asking us to press M. Port Haven. Now we're warping to Port Haven. Oh, man, you canceled my warp, bruh. Relax. I'm gonna finish you all off. Let's warp. Port Haven. Warping to Port Haven in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're back at Port Haven. Tutorial time. Now what? Rich fertile lands await ye. Yeah. Follow the road north from Port Haven to stake your claim. Okay. North over here. Choose a farm layout. Hey, wait a minute. This is kind of starting to feel like Harvest Moon. But... It's kind of fun though. Like, you know, this is an MMORPG. Ship with ship combat, turn-based, and then there's Harvest Moon. Man, I'm starting to enjoy this. Okay, let's pick this one because I don't really know what to pick. Okay, kind of lagging this one over here. And there goes our farm. Behold your farm, the finest patch of land on the island. Okay, <laughs> let's go over here. The tutorial thingy is pointing over here. Let's go at our farmhouse. Choose a house layout. Okay, so how about this? Listen up. There'll be a hammer in your inventory. Okay, there it goes. It's just the hammer. Clicking on the hammer. Now we got the hammer. Now she's asking us to pick one from this. Okay, let's pick this. And put it over here, right? And according to her, I can drag and drop it. Okay, let's put it over here. Now let's pretend none of this ever happened. I can delete it. Okay, let's try deleting it. There it goes. Well done. And equip the hammer in your inventory to get us out of the building mode. Okay, uh, equip the sword. Hey, wait a minute. That's not the bone sword. Put the bone sword over here. Yep. Now we equip the bone sword. Let's go to the form. So, ready to get your hands dirty? Okay, I guess we're gonna farm. Press 1 to equip the seeds. Now, spy a patch of dirt. Patch of dirt. There's no dirt here. I'm pressing 1 and I can't really... We're supposed to farming hardcore over here, right? No. Oh, okay. There it goes, guys. There's a place where we can plant. Okay, let's press 1. How do we... We're now... Planting hardcore. Man, I can't wait for this. Okay, we're done with that. Now, press 2 to equip the watering pot. There's the watering pot. You'll need to drench them. Okay, I guess that's the icon that we need to water the plants. Watering the plants, guys. Ooh, we're leveling up. You're watering the plants. Okay, now what? There's a bar. Hey, wait a minute. I need to wait for that. What? I need to water them again. Uh, thankfully, the watering pot doesn't deplete. We can keep using it. Look at this. <laughs> wait a minute. Look at this, guys. The carrots. It, that's carrots, right? It's growing too quick, guys. Okay, let's water it again. And I think that indicates that we can harvest them. But first, let's water everything so we can harvest them all together. Okay, I guess that's it. What's next, bruh? Press 3. Grab your fish port. There goes our fish port. How do we gather? Clicking it. Nope. What? Okay, let's fish port. <laughs> okay, there it goes, guys. We attack the carrots with the fish port to gather them. Is this how you gather carrots? 
uh, I have no experience gathering carrots, guys. <laughs> I never planted the carrots in my life. Okay, anyway. Dirt under your fingernails on a sweat upon your brow. Okay, we need to go back to the town according to the tutorial lady. We need to head over here at the crop shop. Okay, we need to talk to this NPC over here. Talking to her, I'm too far. I guess we're going to sell the carrots. Okay, how many carrots do you want to sell? I don't want to sell them all because I think we need them for eating. So let's just sell 20 pieces. Confirm. Okay. A good melee battle be just a thing to get your blood pumping. Let's head to the town. Uh, looks like there's a decent amount of people playing this game. Look at this. Them your shortcuts. Okay, press 4 to equip it. There goes the bone sword. Now WASD to move. Hey, wait a minute. This is the fight tutorial. What? Oh, okay. Now the ending tutorial is this. There be a vast sea to explore. Head south to the docks in Port Haven. Okay, we need to go to the docks, guys. Docking hardcore. Okay, now we're in the seas. You're on your own from here on out. Okay, you're abandoning me. Okay, according to her, I'm on my own. It's a decently sized map. Okay, so where do we go? <laughs> according to the tutorial, I'm on my own. I don't know where to go. <laughs> now look at these other players. We can see them. Can we shoot them? <laughs> Boom, bro. Boom. You're dead. Oh, you're trying to shoot me, huh? Oh, come on here. Let's PvP. Let's PvP, bro. You're running away, huh? You're scared of me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. According to the game profile, there's PvP here. There's a pirate ship. That could be fun. Ah, finish him off. Oh, we got hit. Son of a loot. What are you giving me? A light cloth. Oh, there's something over here. Let's go over here. Okay, what's this? Go on a voyage. Uh, okay. Voyage? Von voyage? And what's happening? I pressed it and nothing's happening, guys. Okay, there it goes. I guess the game is lagging by a bit. This is kind of a bit bothering me, the loading part of the game. Because the game, I'm pretty sure this doesn't take that much resources. But it's still loading a lot. Okay, anyway. Ooh, there's a pirate over here. Let's destroy him. What's this voyage thing here? Is this some kind of an instance dungeon? Ooh, this is what I like about this game, the ship combat. Not the turn based combat. <laughs> okay. Urgh. Bruh. No, you can't hit me, bruh. Okay, we got you. Loot. Too far. More enemies over here. Destroy them. Man, targeting enemies. Ooh. Okay, we got that one. Loot. Finish up that other one. Loot. Okay. Loot again. This is fun. They just need to add more ship customization. Maybe new cannonballs. And new ways to move around. Look at this. And probably a boss, right? There could be a boss already here. It suggests I haven't gotten to that part yet. A boss with raid mechanics. <laughs> you can party up with your friends. Four player co-op. Instance dungeon. Then there's a boss at the end. Okay, there's no more enemies. Where do I go? Over here? Okay, let's go over here. There's a village over here. Let's cannonball them. Boom. <laughs> We're attacking the village. <laughs> Wait a minute. I keep shooting cannonballs, but it's... The cannonball unlimited, man, I can't go here. Why? Oh, there's another one. Son of a... Finish you off. Bro, you're cornered. I am cornered. <laughs> okay, you're done for. Loot. We got new skill. I see cannon. So how about let's try I see cannon, guys. And then what's this? Flaming cannon. Try cannon. Sail. Shredder. Davy Jones. What? Okay, let's try the I see cannon first. Okay, we're gonna try the I see cannons, but enemies are too far. Okay, let's try the icy cannon. Let's not mess. Man, that's not the icy cannon. Bro, don't run away. Gonna get you, icy cannon. What? I missed. There's another one over here. Let's go, bro. Oh, there's a cool down. You're burning, bro. Oh, man. Let's try Davy Jones. What? It's this tape. Oh, look at this. It's a super. Nice. Okay, that's ge it's getting fun. But I'm getting cornered here. Destroy them. Okay, bruh. Just use the normal cannon. 
I'm not that familiar yet with the skills. Ah, we won. Let's go. Recover HP. Is there more enemies? Ah, oh, I, I think that's a uh, loot over here. I need to loot it. I mean, why is it hard to move? I think it's because of the current of the waters. It's stopping me from moving. Okay, so where do we go? I think that one over there is an enemy. We need to go over there. Okay, this is kind of annoying moving because I think... Ah! Okay, there it goes. Bruh. Let's go. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, man. Ah, we died. What? Respawn? Come on, bro. They got us. The other ones got me over there because it's difficult to move, guys. I can't really tell you guys what's happening. I guess the current's over here. Look at this. My my ship is moving slow. It's because of the current of the waters, I think so. Let's look at this, the directions. Yo, I'm gonna destroy you. Come here, bro. Let's use the icy cannon. Icy cannon! Then flaming cannon! Let's go, finish him off. Boom, we got him. Okay, loot. We're done with this, right? Ah, okay. I'm understanding this dungeon over here. It's kind of an instance dungeon. We need to defeat all of the enemies, right? And then we can proceed. Oh, what's this? Let's approach this. There's something over here. Might be a boss. Ah, we can interact with this. That's the item shop. Increase speed. Increase health. Better treasure drop. I don't want to read this because YouTube. Cannonballs. Multi-shot. Electric cannonball. So how about... Let's buy speed. Oh, man. I think this is gonna be very useful. Ugh. This is a tough choice. Let's buy this increased health. And increased speed. And what else? Okay, we can buy more health. And then more speed. Okay. Let's go. Are we faster? I think so. Let's go. What is this? League 3 of 3. Ooh! It's a cracking, guys. I think let's use Davy Jones. Davy Jones! Let's go! Oh, the other one. What's this? Tri Shredder. Let's go! Wow, that's cool. Oh, man. I'm getting destroyed. He's trying to kill me. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Destroy that Kraken, huh? You paid a lot of money to buy that body, huh? <laughs> we died. Okay, here's the part where I tell you guys a little bit of arcane waters. As you've seen in the gameplay, it's a pixel art pirate themed MMORPG with farming simulation, action ship combat, and turn based land combat. That's a mouthful, but uh, that's how I see the game. Now, it's developed by Black Mammoth Games. And as for the features, how about let's check out their press kit. And first, over here is Embark on Trailing Online Co op Voyages, which we already know. Next here is Battle in Intense Online PvP Arenas, two teams of up to 24, fight against each other in mobile-like arenas. Okay, so they plan to add mobile-like PvP, which sounds pretty exciting for a mobile player like me. And lastly, Farm, Craft, and Trade, which we already experienced in the gameplay part of the video. And now, Monetization Talk. At the moment, there's no monetization, and I checked out their website. And there's no information regarding monetization. But players on Reddit says it's gonna be free to play with cosmetics and it will not be paid to win. And I'm not contented with random people saying what's what. So I dig a little bit deeper and found a reply from the lead developer himself. Mike Makes Stuff. Yeah, that's his Reddit name. And according to him, here's the message. This is from two years ago. The game will most likely be a one-time purchase. We may experiment with an in-game cosmetic item shop during the beta testing to see if that's an alternative worth exploring. The game will not be subscription-based and definitely no pay to win. Again, I must repeat, this is from two years ago. A lot of things could have changed. And seeing that the game relies on social interactions and other people to play with, in my opinion, this should be free to play because their MOBA dreams for this game will not be successful. They could just buy to play this, but the player base is gonna be so small that their arena will hardly start. Okay, anyway, I rambled too long. And that's Arcane Waters from the start. I must say, this is a good free-to-play game. It's legitimately fun. They have a lot of good ideas here. They just need to nail the monetization correctly, and this will be on my list on games to check out. But until then, I'm gonna watch what they're gonna do with their monetization. And if you're listening, Mr. Arcane Waters, sir, please don't make it pay to win. 
stick with just cosmetics and you should have an awesome legacy ahead of you. Now here's a little bit of feedback from a guy who barely play MMOs. First, find a way to shorten or remove the loading times. Then the turn-based land combat make it faster please because it drags on way too long. And don't make the game pay to win, <laughs> please don't. Overall, we have a nice MMORPG here but this could easily change with just a change in the monetization. And for you guys who want to check the game out, the details are on the screen or check my discord out if you want to see other stuff related to arcane waters. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.